who's now a prolific car thief on the run in the South Sound, is shedding light on a bigger issue law enforcement are dealing with all across our state. Fox 13 News reporter Frankie Thompson is live in Kitsap County with concerns about current state laws and the impacts they have on catching criminals. Frankie. Hannah Law Enforcement in Kitsap County says public safety is at stake with people like Brandon Irvin on the run. The sheriff and local police chief tell me they want to see modifications to current laws on policing in Washington so officers have a fair chance at catching these criminals. His name is Brandon Charles Irvin, but law enforcement in Kitsap County say he's known as a menace. And this person, you know, has kind of shown a flagrant disregard for public safety out there, and so it's worrisome, and he's a person we need to take into custody. Fox 13 first reported Irvin's trail of mayhem, stealing cars all across the county. Cell phone video captures him in a stolen car, ramming a Port Orchard police officer, then slamming into another car before racing out of a parking lot. Deputy Chief Donna Main says the state's current pursuit laws are a factor in his escape. Prior to the House bills passing, you know, that would have been something that we could have pursued. Um, but, you know, we always have to take into account what the risk is to doing that to the public. But I know for sure we couldn't that day because of the new House bill. Um, it's frustrating. In 2021, Washington's legislature modified police accountability laws. Some changes included not allowing officers to start a high-speed chase to catch low-level crimes like car theft or shoplifting. The law also says if it's a suspect of a violent crime, police can only chase if there is probable cause the person committed the crime. We've had to have a lot of suspects that probably did the crime walk away and then we find out all the pieces to that and then we're like, well, that was our person, but we had to let them go because we didn't have probable cause at the time. So Maine says some of the rules have handcuffed how her officers pursue people like Irvin. Proposed legislation, House Bill 1788, would allow officers to once again chase suspects if there is reasonable suspicion a violent crime was committed, even without probable cause. If we can just get that small piece of being able to detain someone for a brief moment so that we can investigate what we have and either make that arrest or release them, that would be a huge swing back to law enforcement. And that would also help with our public safety too. House Bill 1788 was last heard on February 3rd in the House Committee of Public Safety. It was referred to the Rules Committee for further review. Reporting live in Kitsap County, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.